Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to another exciting episode of Victoria 2 playing as Burgundy here in Divergences of Darkness of course and why is it exciting you might or might not ask and it's exciting due to us having a lot of things on our agenda and a lot of things to fix. Uh, on the last couple of episodes I got a number of suggestions and things to keep in mind or maybe I forgot or maybe I oversaw or just general suggestions and tips on what to do and what I shouldn't do. For example, I don't need to attack the Xosa and the Sulu. Apparently I get uh, some uh, events to, to subjugate him in the future. So I will take that under consideration and I won't attack the Xosa. Another thing is to build forts everywhere due to having a lot of money. So <coughs> I probably should do that. Let's uh, go ahead and expand the forts wherever I can right now. And here in Sumatra I also was reminded that I had forgotten to make a naval base. So we should adjust that immediately. And we should also build some in Java as well. There's uh, unfortunately a chance that in the future when we're getting attacked the enemy might uh, be a bit stronger when it comes to the colonial game and get attack us over there so it's probably best to have a fairly substantial amount of forts and things to slow them down should they end up doing so. Here was another one we forgot about the naval base maybe over here. Yeah, naval base here too. There's a lot of things that were missed apparently so that's unfortunate. Maybe do... Yeah, let's do it over here as well. And here we didn't forget. And that was one of them. Another one is to take a look at the events and try to follow them along the way and not just expand the colonial empire. So we will try to do that as well. We have the events to integrate the Rhineland. We already have the Rhineland right now. We actually, if we weren't called Burgundy, we could be called the Western Rhineland because everything west of the Rhineland really, or the Rhine rather, is part of our territory. So that is a thing. We have three years, we even have Cologne and... Uh, Krusna. So we could in the future, and we will in the future, integrate the Rhineland and make the Rhenish part of our accepted culture. So that will be pretty fun. We need to have revolution and counter-revolution for that, so it might be a bit in the future. We have Claim Savoy, which is probably the most interesting thing that we can do. It apparently uh, allows us to create the free duchy of Geneva under our jurisdiction, so extremely free, I, I see what you mean. We need to own Annecy, Chambury, Aosta and Sitten in order to do so. And uh, if we look here, Sitten, Aosta and Amnesty are both all part of Savoyard Savoy. So we need to steal the parts that are actually called Savoy that belongs to Savoy. Making Savoy, well, not having any Savoy in it. Which would make for a rather interesting future for it. Savoy is unfortunately in the sphere of the dual monarchy. So we will need to fight our biggest rival in order to claim that land, the dual monarchy over here. And the dual monarchy has 115 brigades at the moment. They have a worse army tech than we do. But I would not say that that would be enough for everything. Uh, we currently only have 82 brigades out of 93 possible, so they clearly have a big advantage there. Though, to be fair, a lot of it will be in England. We already can see on England and Ireland they have a lot of men. And if we could somehow muster a big enough fleet to kind of blockade that, that would leave us at a very big advantage. However, they have 148 ships. And we have only 72. And that is worth almost maxed out. So we really do need to have bigger naval bases and probably bigger naval tech as well. What is their naval tech, speaking of which? It's 8. So they have a rather big advantage over there. So we are stronger at land, they are stronger at sea. When it comes to naval tech, they're stronger overall though, because they have a lot more valuable land under them. Actually, just a lot more land in general and more population as well. The 13, yeah, they have over almost 4.5 million more men in their territory, all of them accepted or primary for that matter. So that won't be very fun. But one day we will go to war there and I will try to go for it as soon as possible whenever opportunity strikes. So you should. Unfortunately, we have a problem with Bohemia as well. Bohemia is desperately trying to put these lands under their sphere and then try to take these lands from, from Scandinavia to be able to form the Holy Roman Empire or the German Empire under Czechic rule in that case, which would be a bit interesting and slightly ironic. I do like that the HRE is so split up as it is right now, mainly having three big states instead of having a giant Austria that controls everything. And that being Bavaria, Bohemia and Austria, and Bohemia being the one actually in charge this time. So I'm a great fan of that. Apparently the Elbian and Bohemian. Bohemian gotta be, yeah, the primary culture. Wonderful. So let's just start the time and uh, do what we can to 
to solve these issues. In the colonial lands we have, for example, in Java, a war to be doing there soon enough. The truce there will end late next year, which will give us a solid year and a few months to prepare for such an occasion. We also have the whole thing with Nagpur that we are thinking of doing, so we should probably prepare for that. We have 29 men over here now. Where is the fleet? The fleet is over here. Already carrying a bunch of men. How about we just land somewhere here? For them, that would be good. So this one is done. That one will be done at some point, whenever we have the men for it. Making some in Jambi from previously. And after that, the fleets really just need to go and deliver men for the Nagpur invasion and the establishment of Burgundian India, which would probably serve our empire fairly well. I do like that the dual monarchy only has the Ceylon area, so they have nothing in the mainland of India. The closest foe that we have when it comes to colonial powers would be Spain over here. But Spain, I have a feeling, won't be the strongest. They are only the 8th greatest power on Earth. And speaking of Spain, Aragon could be a fairly decent ally, all things considered. Oh, the Japanese Empire is going to attack uh, the Qing Empire, and Transcap is attacking Swazi. So, uh, interesting. They can do so, that's really quick also. Ours is going to take a bit more time, but Aragon, we want to have better relations with them, see if we can't get an alliance. I have a feeling that since we're allied to Scandinavia at the moment, that an alliance with Aragon won't happen for the simple reason that we're already having too many great power allies. To be precise, one. I don't know if that's changed. I learned from a wise comment that this mod is based off the Pop Demand mod, which would explain the additional resources that have been added to it. And also why my economy is so brilliant, because the pop demand mod, you can't really fail in the, with the economy there. So that's uh, a bit unfortunate. I could be on, on top spending at the beginning with taxes barely touched and uh, haven't had any reason to change. So that's beautiful. Oh yeah, now I forgot about the whole thing, uh, forts. Forgot to expand the forts over here. Tragedy at the mine. So we would either gain or lose iron. I think we will lose iron. Uh, there's more or fewer capitalists rather than there are laborers, so we can care if the capitalists get mad. That's a great thing. In uh, Right now you don't really need to care about the capitalists because they don't have enough power and we're you're more worried about about the people rising up in great numbers than you are about one or three capitalists. Nowadays it's a bit different with the capitalists having so much money and control over power. So maybe that's just a fault from the game itself to not model the amount of power that the capitalists have. Or maybe I'm just ignoring power that capitalists have and will regret it later on. All of these and more could possibly be the explanation for it. There we go, those are done. We have now Nagpur that we can declare war on. Just making sure the last... No, no one is, is doing anything there. We're good, then when we attack Nagpur. I think this army will be sufficient and uh, should probably... Oh, they don't like us, huh? We should have military access. Aren't they in our sphere? Don't we get military access immediately? Really? They seem a bit mad at us. Okay, we have an alliance then. Just don't attack anyone, because then I will withdraw the alliance. I swear to God. If you do anything nasty, I will withdraw the alliance. That's just how it is. Shouldn't I have... Oh, now I have. Maybe I did anyway. I swear to God, if they attack via Yanagar, then I will be mad. Actually, can I cancel the alliance now before they do that? I think I will. I'll cancel the alliance. Ah, oh, come on, it was alliance that gave it. God damn it. The thing is, I've done a t few test runs of this, and every time I ally the the Hira the Badians, they decide to attack Villa Nagar, which is allied to Spain, and then they call who calls in Spain, and Hira Abad calls in me, and if I join, Spain will call in the dual monarchy, and all hell breaks loose from there. 
and that's not really an acceptable outcome, if I'm going to be completely honest. I'd prefer to fight a dual monarchy when uh, I'm best able to. Luckily, we managed to get around that anyway, and now we have an army over here in Nagpur. The problem will be getting it out of there. That won't be very easy. The Infernal ma ma Machine. Yesterday, the Dauphine was killed by na English nationalists while visiting the city of Liverpool. So, so. <laughs> I like that. Liver Liverpool. Liverpool, maybe? I don't know. The explosion also took the lives of his wife, his son, and 63 other people. Full of grief, the king has enacted several decrees restraining liberties with the assent of the parliament. The line of succession that was clear is now disputed and the folly of Henry X due to his loss does not ease the situation. Is that a custom event? That sounds like a custom event. Liverpool. Is that over here? It is. This, this should be Liverpool, right? Yeah, I, I do like that they renamed it. Manchester. And York is unchanged. Oh yeah, they, they do. Uh, they have changed it to more French sounding names. That's cool. At least some of them. Counterbelly. Ah, that's that's. Uh, I like I like that. I like that touch. I do like that touch. Have they done the same thing over here? Uh, no, most of these are remaining. From what I what I remember them to be. Ildeman. Ah, that is. I, I like that. That's a nice touch. That is a very nice touch. Okay, we have now medicine done. What should we do with medicine done, I wonder? There is a... I mean, idealism would be really good to have. Ideological thought would be really good to have for one more natural focus and some plurality. As well as the minimum life rating. Uh, I think idealism. Honestly, unless we're going for an immediate war, then maybe increasing stuff like navy or army tech would be more preferable. But no, idealism. We need that. We need that research. It will be better in the long long term. At least right now. I hope. Uh, we only have 1.35% of population as clergymen, so that's not brilliant. It could be worse. Hyderabad is trying once again with their things. We could... F mm. Alright. Vijanagar. The thing with Hyderabad now is they are probably willing to attack. Probably willing. And I don't want to go to war with the dual monarchy yet. So I will decline. I'm sorry Hyderabad. I just cannot do it. I just want a regular military access. Holy shit, that costs a lot of diplomatic points, so you need to have 10. And they will not accept? Why wouldn't they accept? But apparently the Greeks are free from from the Venetians. So, I like that they have a fall in the middle of their revolution for freedom. The, sub, uh, the Sublime Port is uh, getting attacked by Safavid Empire. And I had to uh, read about why it's named the Sublime Port, and it's pretty, it's pretty cool, honestly. Apparently when... Uh, French diplomats came to the Ottoman Sultan in like the 14th century or something like that, or 13th century maybe. He, they, they were entering these ports that the uh, Byzantine emperors had used before, and they were the first great thing that he saw, and they named it the Sublime Port, it's apparently French, and uh, had the Sublime before the um, port part in order to just symbolize how, how important they were, how big they were. And then it kind of became uh, a sort of alternative name for the Ottomans and uh, Turkey overall. And when the, the Grand Vizier was building his uh, new palace in, like, I think office building in 19th century, or beginning of the 19th century, he named it the building Sublime Port. So, presumably, what has happened here is that w since this is a presidential dictatorship, when they overthrew the Ottomans, they took their seat in the building called the Sublime Port, and that kind of became the name of their country. At least that's my working canon in this game of why it's named that. But it, I found, found it to once again be a, a cool bit of detail, and I like the attention to detail that a mod has put in to things like that, like Sublime Port, for example, or just renaming certain provinces to reflect the changes that have, that have been made. So stuff like that is... I, I like, uh, as I mentioned, I like it. It's very engrossing and uh, it adds a lot of flavor to the mod itself. 
So I hope they continue on with developments such as such as that. So I don't know if that made any sense, but I advise you, if you didn't understand anything of what I was saying, since I kind of messed it up a bit, then go just look up Sublime Port and uh, read about it. It's uh, fairly interesting. I gotta say, fairly interesting. You learn, you learn things from games. You learn, like you are inspired to learn a bit from from history from from these games. Maybe you don't learn permanent history, or like perfect history, since this is not very historic at all. But maybe you're inspired to read about why a certain thing didn't happen or why it went another way. It's inspiring you to learn history, and that's what I love about these games. Apart from the games themselves and and well, what you do in them. Rant over. Let's see. Propose peace. Annex Nagpur. Wonderful. We will do so. I'm tempted to do the same with Hyderabad. Kind of cut them off and invade them to take um, Orissa over here. That's a bit of a douche move, honestly. But is there anyone here that would be in any way opposed to it? I don't think so. We would probably need to get in another army for it. Since, holy shit, in Nagpur you can have six... Brigades, that's quite substantial. And since uh, we are fighting enemies to a large extent, well, who else were we going to fight? We will probably... I don't want too, too much light artillery and... Uh, there we go. Mobile artillery and uh, light cavalry. So that will be six. Uh, that's 18 men. That should be fairly decent. Here we have... Do we have any other men to recruit at all from any of these provinces? No. Okay. Well, that's fine. We will transfer over these these men to the provinces in India and expand our empire there. We should probably also keep in mind the whole Java situation. Maybe I should deal with Java before. This is ending in... Okay, I will deal with Java first. I will prepare for the whole Hyderabad thing, such as removing them from Sphere and things like that, adjusting their relations. And then we can attack Hyderabad, take over this thing so we can connect it up. Right now, we can't really get any military access through Hyderabad, because military access costs insane amounts, and we don't want to risk having an alliance because we don't want Spain to grab this territory. So it seems like the best way of, of solving it. I don't really need to go over there, we can bring the fleet here instead, or just right here. And that can do it. Do we have any other men that we can recruit in Europe? I would hopefully believe so. These are all in Marathi, in India over there. No, that's not a lot. It's actually not a lot we can recruit. Not a lot at all. Okay, so maybe we, we can't recruit. We have in Africa two, two in Arcadia, Martinique. We have Endraxland. Where was that again? It was over here, right? Oh yeah, it was Jamaica. It was Endraxland. We can let that be... Like... Hmm. In the future, that could be a thing. We can release that as a nation. It's only one province. It doesn't really matter too much. And you lose five infamy. At the moment, it's not really worthwhile. But in the future, it might. But since infamy won't be lowered enough... Okay. I found a new problem. If we take this territory, taking this territory will... Wait, via Yanag... Uh, did I manage to put it under a sphere? Oh, really? That's awesome. I forgot I put that, honestly. Well, that's uh, a nice thing. Now uh, we only need to wait for their alliance to, to go down and then we could ally up with Hyderabad anyway. That's interesting. Interesting. See, I tried my best to remember everything that's happened. Apparently I missed a few things. That's just how it is. But Hyderabad, we still won't ally you. I'm, I'm sorry. It's just not feasible. It's not feasible. So Spain failed in their efforts and didn't really care. How's it going in all the other ones? I don't want the same thing to happen to, to us. Baden, for example, we will discredit Bohemia. Or actually lower their opinion there. Maybe just increase a little bit of influence. Berg, this is getting a bit too uncomfortably close. Do the same. Over there, just get a little bit. How's it going in Frankfurt am Main? It's going fairly well. 
Malacca is safe, but them can't trust can't trust the Scandinavians. Kick them out of there. In Switzerland, this is getting really damn close. Kick the dual monarchy out of Switzerland. And also need some more influence in Switzerland. So yeah, we have uh, a, f a lot of things to deal with over there. Frankfurt and mine wants to be friends again, that's nice. Okay, we, we can deal with some rebels. They want campaign for free press, apparently. Is the most important. We could do that. We definitely could do that. And I don't have anything else that I would prefer to take. I mean, outlawing slavery could probably be more interesting. But free press. The people want it and I will I will keep them a bit happy so we can go for more wars. Okay, seeing as... Java can't be done until we have lost more infamy, unless we want to take, unless we want to take a risk there, and that would be a pretty big risk. If we got, if we go over 25 infamy, we will be completely murdered. Sorry, Villanaga is still allied to Spain. We can't, we can't do it until, well, until that doesn't happen. If we can put Villanaga under our sphere as well, then we will be very solid. Then we can ally both of them, and then we can expand over here in the Mughal Empire, together, united. Mughal Empire is fairly big, they have a lot of men, though their technology, I assume, is not the best. No, it's not at all very good. And with Hyderabad and Vijayanagaran support, we should probably be able to do it, I imagine. It's just going to take a long time to put Vijayanagar in our sphere. Just... Stop, Bohemia. You're not going to manage to do it. There's no way. An age of liberalism. All right, we're reaching the point of liberalism taking over. Okay, justifying... Uh, it's only 15. We can do it. We can do it. I was thinking of annexing before, and that would take a lot more. But we can, uh, we can definitely start it and send the army over there. That is very doable. And what's even better is that when we have taken it, we should probably be able to recruit some men from it, because there's a lot of people living here. And when we do that, we should be very solid. Suvakata, Madura, Sunda Islands, yeah, everything is, is all set. We have 3% here, it's not optimal, but I think we need to move on to spread it out a bit. Definitely would like to have ideological thought to be able to do it much faster and more impact. And now let time pass. Hopefully it will take a while for it to be discovered, so we can... We don't have to take as much infamy punishment as possible. Like, take as at least... The least amount of infamy as possible. There. I managed to say it. Alright, land in Batavia. And then we can attack. Well, when the CV is done. Which will be in 150 days, unless we get a modifier to increase it. Wealth? Minus 10%? Really? Is that a vote? Is the vote... Wealth. Why would that increase Casus Belli acquisition speed? Oh. So, dictatorships will have faster Casus Belli generation. That's a very interesting change. Very interesting change, honestly. I like that. I like that. There's a, an incentive now not to go full de democratic and uh, full liberal. That is interesting. I like it. Okay, these are getting way too close. Bohemia, get out. Württemberg, we need to do the same here. Get some influence. Hyderabad, stop with the alliances. I will tell you when it's worthwhile to have an alliance. There we are. The army is ready. I'm pretty sure they will surrender as soon as they possibly could. Rebellion in our ally, East Frisia. They have Jacobin rebels. Ugh. It's not allowed. So what do we have the choices? They're not worth it. And there will be five prestige. Or we will gain one infamy and uh, add to sphere. Castle's belly. Is anyone else interested in this country? No one cares about it, 
All right, we will uh, go for it. We have to intervene, add to sphere. We could cut them to size, but it doesn't really matter. There we go. We can have war on East Frisia and uh, head on and quell the rebels. We can send two armies, it's fine. Tristan Duras and who is the other one? Tristan Duras and Gerard Nofon. There we go. Take them down, go to Osnabrück and in Emden. We're going to... I like that we take over from their sieges. Oh god damn it. This just makes me want to have Victoria free. I was going to say four, but I think I would need the other one first. There we go. Add to sphere. They are now in our sphere. They hate us. But they're in our sphere. And that's good. Excellent. In our sphere, there we go. Alright, and uh, how long until Vijanagar is in our sphere? It will still be a while. Oh, Java is done. Let's go for Java. There we go. I wonder if Java makes good coffee. I've become sort of a coffee connoisseur, or how you pronounce it. Only I'm having my little mocha, like yeah, those things that you put on on top of stoves and make one cup of coffee each time. I have one of those, and then I try to buy home so much as much Italian style coffee as I possibly can. Call me a hipster if you like, but it's uh, it's the way I've been taught. It's my upbringing. And, speaking of which, I, I started drinking coffee like a year ago, so... That's great. I am not a big coffee drinker, usually. National Conference. But I would I would definitely drink some uh, Yavan coffee if they if they make it. Just uh, need to find it. Yavan coffee. I'm not interested in the National Conference at the moment due to it losing us prestige. So, it will be a bit later. And, speaking of research, now we got that done. So we can go for ideological thoughts. And some more diplomatic influence is always nice. So that should help. There we go, Jakarta. And are you ready to surrender? No, you're not. Apparently you're very resilient this time. It's a character flaw of yours, I understand. Not everyone can be perfect. At least some of us are trying. Speaking of trying, Palembang, when will you be ready for full annexation? 1847, so that's a, a while away. Malacca. We should look into Malacca very soon. Very, very soon. I mean, we need to take this area, and then we need to take this area. Maybe that will be a bit later. Maybe we will get an event to, to put them under. I am not too concerned about Malacca at the moment. At least not very concerned about Malacca, but... Opening of the Delphi Council. This time, the Greek representatives are assembled to discuss the draft of a constitution, and there are already different factions opposing each other. First, uh, something that I can't pronounce. Ah, okay, there's just... They, they're just bickering between themselves. We are post-bickering. We are cool kids. In Cerebon, and... Uh, why is all the soldiers always in one province and not spread out? Okay, I understand. This province has more people in it, but no one is a soldier in here. Maybe there's a reason for it. And we need one more mobile artillery. There we go. Actually, it would probably make more sense to put it from the, the group that has more people in it. So we'll do that. Or maybe... Wait a second. Wait a second. Let me check this. Nagpur, Nagpur. I don't... An idea crossed my mind if they had combined it, so you only recruit from one place, but that would be a bit stupid too, so... Yeah. Maybe there's just one place in, in each city that, or each region, that really produces soldiers, or inspires people to become soldiers. Oh well, that rant will be over now, and we will end right here. Apparently, Yvija Nagar has for forsaken their alliance with... Spain, which would make an alliance with Hyderabad more interesting, or just, just frankly put Vienagar under our, our sphere. But we will make a decision on that when it comes to the next episode. I hope you've enjoyed this one and that it has gone through most of the things that 
people have been mentioning in the comments and so forth. If you have any more suggestions or reminders or anything like that of things I should do, then please do leave a comment in the comment section below. And also if you enjoyed the video and would like to see more, like and subscribe and all that jazz. Until we see each other next time, have a good one and thank you for watching. Thank you.